India. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about five tips to help you upgrade your life, girl, how to level up, okay? Before we jump into today's video, be sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can post notifications on, give the video a thumbs up, okay? And join the fam, girl. So let's go ahead and hop right into today's video. So the first thing that I wanna do is go ahead and tell you guys, I will not be talking about eating healthier, working out, um, any, any of those, any of those types of like physical things that you can do that like anybody would tell you to like do these things. Like we're not going to be talking about that. This is a spiritual channel. Okay. This channel is a healing channel. This video is for girls on a healing journey. You're on a spiritual journey. You're on a transformational journey. You understand that there is inner work that needs to be done in order for you to live your dream reality, okay? That's what this video is about, okay? So if that's what you're into, stick around. If you're not into that, I get it. But you know, you may find something beneficial in this video. It's not gonna be like, you know, no regular regular like, get a capsule wardrobe and start working out and do yoga three times a week. Like it's, those things are great, but that's not what this is, okay? So let's start off with tip number one. Oh, it's three, three, three on the clock. I just had to throw that in there. Okay, so let's talk about tip number one, okay? Tip number one is going to be to remove people from your life. These are people that are in your life that have to go you know they have to go and for whatever reason you're just letting the situation just drag out be out of guilt because maybe you've known the person a really long time or maybe this person is going through a difficult time and you don't want to abandon them maybe it's fear of being alone maybe it's the fact that like you've been friends with this person since you were like five years old and you don't know what your life is going to look like without them but you know that you guys are going separate ways but you're just holding on to the relationship this could be a relationship with a partner boyfriend girlfriend whatever that you know it needs to end girl like it, enough is enough okay you're tired of the bullshit it's that okay this could also be siblings parents family members whatever that do not mean you any good okay unfortunately some of us have family this is mother father brother sister niece uncle aunt whatever some of us are born into families that are literally just not good for us and they're there to teach us a karmic lesson and sometimes you have to let family go although it can be uncomfortable and it can also be sad and lonely as well but you always have to do what's best for you the people who are around you are so important okay they say that the five closest people around you really show who you are as a person you become who you hang around let's just let's just keep it real you become who you hang around people will be like you hang around trash you become trash it's true it's literally true right if you are surrounded by five millionaires chances are you're going to be number six okay like let's level up <laughs> i literally just hit myself in the face of my earring level up girl level up it's time to elevate your circle the people who are around you are so important like people say if you are the smartest person in your circle you're in the wrong circle let me say it again if you are the smartest person in your circle you are in the wrong circle if you are the wealthiest person in your circle also you are in the wrong circle, okay? You'll never elevate to the next level if you're surrounded by people who are, I don't wanna say like beneath you because we're all human beings, we're all equal, but I just mean like if people around you just simply have not accomplished anything and they're not looking to be successful, they're not looking to strive towards anything, they don't have any bigger goals than the life that they're already living, you're not gonna be getting anywhere from being around those people. So you have to let them go. You have to remove that negative energy from your life, that toxicity, you have to let it go, like plain and simple. Yes, it's difficult, I will not lie to you. I mean, it might be simple for some, some people depending on what the scenario is, but it's a transition, it's transformational. And you literally just have to decide, you have to make the decision that you know what, I want better for myself. I want to be surrounded by people who are actually doing something with their lives. I want to be surrounded by people who have done more than I have done because at least I can learn something from them. Okay, number two is to stop doing things that you don't like. Okay, 
This is literally self-explanatory, okay? If you, this one is really for my people pleasers because if you're a people pleaser, you tend to just kind of like go with the flow because you don't like confrontation. It's uncomfortable, right? So you avoid that discomfort by just being agreeable. And we don't want that, okay? If somebody asks you to do something and you know you don't want to do it, you don't have to say flat out no and be rude about it, but you can just let them know, you know, thank you for inviting me to this, but give me some time to think about it. And if you go back in a few minutes or a few days or whatever later, and you're like, you know what? I don't think that's, that's anything that I want to do. You know, maybe reach out to me next time about X, Y, and Z, right? You can be nice about it, but that's, this one's for my people pleasers because I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is, but you have to stop doing things that you don't like. This also goes with jobs career now this is this one is tough because when we talk about jobs and we talk about career we immediately think money and we immediately we have been taught to associate have a job and a career with money and having that be the only way that we can acquire money right we are taught you don't have a job you're broke you don't have this specific career you're not a doctor you're not a lawyer like oh you're broke right you don't you don't have the money baby we are in 2024 okay we're in 2024 money can come from anywhere right any source if you are now this is for people who are not happy in their career if you're a doctor if you're a lawyer if you're a barista at starbucks girl and you enjoy what you do this tip is not for you if you enjoy what you do no matter what kind of job or career it is right these are for the people who do not enjoy what they're doing now is the time Okay, there's no time like the present to start making strides. We are in March, right? Well, it's the end of February right now, but probably by the time I post this, it'll be like very beginning of March. Mar might be March 1st, March 2nd, something like that when I post this, right? So we are about to approach Aries season and we are also about to have the spring equinox, right? The spring equinox is the real new year. I did a separate video on the spring equinox if it's not up before this, it'll be up right after this. So subscribe, okay? So you can check out that video and get an understanding about how the spring equinox is actually the real new year. And this is the time for you to actually, those thoughts that you have about wanting a new career or wanting to start a business or wanting to get into content creation or wanting to do whatever it is that you want to do, right? Now is the time to do it, okay? We have to stop doing things we don't like. If you are waking up five days a week, six days a week, seven days a week. Some people got two, three jobs, okay? If you're going to all of those things miserable, then just think about how much that lowers your vibration. Think about how you spend eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hours a day at work, right? And you're not, you don't like it. Now there are parts of every career, every job or whatever that will not be your fave, right? You're probably not gonna be obsessed with every single aspect of everything, right? But in the end, Overall, you should be happy. You should be enjoying what it is that you do because you spend so much time on like a job and a career, right? So you need to have some type of enjoyment from it. If there has been something that you have wanted to start, now is the time to get started. Now is the time to stop doing things that you don't actually want to do. So this, there's two sides to this, right? The job side, the career side, and then also the just like people pleasing side of just going along with whatever. Like you will be so much happier in life and your life will get so much better and elevate so much when you actually are enjoying all aspects of it. The happier that you are, the more fun that you are having, the more money you're gonna get, okay? Think about money as if it were like a person that like has feelings, right? If you're depressed, you have anxiety, if you're, you're low, right? You're just like, you're just low. You're just not having fun. You're not enjoying this time. And you were money. You think money will want to come and sit next to you? <laughs> Please, absolutely not. If I were money, I would not want to come sit next to you, right? You want to be loving, right? Free, happy, enjoying. That's when money is going to come to you. That's when abundance is really, really going to flow into your life. Tip number three is going to be speaking up for yourself. Now this kind of goes with the previous one, people please are aspect of things, but this is speaking up for yourself in all ways, right? So not only in your everyday life with parents or with friends, siblings, um, your partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, right? 
like speaking up with them as well but also like if you feel that you have a message to share go ahead and do it right speaking up for yourself is a form of self-love it literally shows you that you care enough about what you think and the way that you feel to express it and you don't have to do it in a in a rude way because I know like as a as a people pleaser myself right a recovering people pleaser I know we tend to always be worried about the feelings of the other person what they would think how they'll respond will there be any level of confrontation like we want to avoid that at all costs right but there is a way to do it and it does show self-love so that's the second part of this is speaking up for yourself slash self-love right self-love is so so important now a lot of times when we think about self-love we think about like physical things we can do like go get a massage or go get our hair done or nails toes whatever sleep all day like go on a little quick trip and relax at the beach you know those types of things but self-love is so much more than that it's beyond those physical things self-love is speaking up for yourself right self-love is having the discipline to do certain things even though you don't really want to do it self-love is standing on business okay it's doing what you said you were going to do because it's something that you really do want to do and you put in the energy, you put in the time, you put in the effort and you do it and you get it done. And then in the end, you're so proud of yourself, right? That is self-love. Tip number four is going to be following your joy. Now I know I kind of already mentioned this when I was talking about like career and job and leaving, um, you know, whatever it is that you're doing if you want to start something new, a new business, new career, whatever. But following your joy, even beyond like career and jobs. Also in like, activities like if there's something that you've been wanting to do like take a sewing class or take a dance class swimming lessons cooking class whatever it is that you've been wanting to if you've just been wanting to take a day off and just go to the movies and get some lunch like that is following your joy you follow your joy you will start to attract more experiences that will bring you joy therefore elevating your life right leveling up upgrading what you already have Number five is going to be working on your mindset. Now I saved the best for less, okay? Because working on your mindset is key, okay? If you don't believe it, you won't achieve it. <laughs> if you don't believe it, you won't achieve it, girl. If you can't see it in your mind, you can't bring it into your reality. If you don't believe that you deserve the things that you desire, you will not get them. Plain and simple. The best way to elevate your life to level up, to upgrade. Because when we think about that, we're really thinking about our dream life, our dream car, the dream city that we want to live in, your dream apartment or your dream house, your dream relationship, whether it's like you being single and free or you being married or you want to have a kid or whatever your dream life looks like, okay? Including like career, the way you look like physically like if you want to lose weight or gain weight or whatever the way you dress the way your hair looks all that kind of stuff all that type of stuff is upgrading your life physically right but before you can get to any of those things you have to fix your mental you have to fix your mental if you are anxious if you are depressed if you are if you are feeling just low in general you're not going to get those things those things are not going to come to you because why would those those fun enjoyable things of your dream life want to come to you when you're broken and desperate and worried like think about it literally think about the things that you want as like having emotions like I was just talking about the money right like money doesn't want to come to somebody who's drowning you know at the bottom like you know what I mean you really really have to work on your mindset let's talk about some of the physical things because I know those are you know those are important things we want this is a 3d world okay we want those physical things we want the nice car we want the you know the luxury clothes and bags and all that kind of stuff and the you know we want our body to look a certain way hair smell good you know all that type of like girly stuff that we like love and we want the best of the best right all of that stuff is amazing and you will get it when you start working from the inside out you start working on your mindset, you start working on your chakras, you start aligning those, you start unblocking them, you start opening them. When we talk about, I have to throw this in because like I already said, this is a spiritual channel. So we're going to talk about some of this stuff, right? The depression and the anxiety and just the low feelings, the unhappiness, 
all that is located in your root chakra and that is the chakra that's likely the most messed up if you're experiencing that right i mean everybody's is messed up because of the programming that we experience as soon as we get here on earth right so you have to work from the bottom up but as you move up then you start discovering things like your solar plexus and like you might have lack of confidence or people who have people who are people pleasers your solar plexus is really really off balance like you don't have enough self-love to stick up for yourself you're too worried about other people's feelings instead of putting yourself first right because you might view it as being selfish which is not the case at all right as we continue to move up we have our heart like if we've experienced bad relationships just had not had good experiences with family or with friends or with you know like a partner boyfriend girlfriend whatever like this is going to be off balance as well if we have trouble with our solar plexus and we're people pleasers and we have trouble speaking up you have throat chakra issues right literally this is speaking so all of these things are so important to get together. And once you start to work on these things, you may, let me say, how, how do you work on it, right? Because hello. So you work on these things by literally understanding what a chakra is. I'm gonna do a whole series on it, right? But even honestly, even if you don't know, let's just say you don't know what a chakra is. You're not even that deep into the spiritual stuff. You don't quite get it yet. That is okay. You can still work on your mindset. You can still speak positivity into yourself. You can still replace every negative thought that you have with a positive thought. Still take those limiting beliefs that you have and switch them around and make them positive, okay? Let's say I just did a video on how I manifest in my dream apartment, right? My dream life in my dream city, okay? Go check that video out after you watch this one, okay? So let's just say that that's something that you want to do. You want to move to a new city, you want a new apartment, you want to just like, you know, like a fresh start. You want to start a new life, right? One of your limiting beliefs may be, well, I want to move to a new city, but I want to move to a new city. I want to get this beautiful dream apartment. This is like everything that I want, but I don't know how I'm going to get it because I've never seen anybody get it before. Like all my family is, you know, broke. Like we never had enough. Uh, we never had enough money. I never got everything that I really wanted. Like people don't make it out of my city. People don't make it out of my town. Like everybody just be here stuck, you know, whatever. Like literally all those things, it's all limiting beliefs limiting beliefs you have to literally take that stuff and switch it around you have to say that well i'm so excited to be a candidate for this experience because i've never had it before right i've never gotten to experience living in a brand new city in a brand new dream apartment so i'm a candidate for this experience because i've never had it before i'm so grateful to be able to move to this new level in life it's like when you start switching around those limiting beliefs into positive beliefs you start speaking positivity over yourself and over your life that is what you will receive that is what you will receive right all those negative things that you're saying to yourself when you are anxious and when you are depressed those, all of those things you're saying need to be replaced with positive things so you can literally just start off like that every time you think a negative thought think a positive thought and that that was like such a big example but I'm talking about stuff as small as parking spaces if you are going to Target right you're on your way to Target it's Saturday 12 p.m. you know it's gonna be crowded as hell in Target right everybody and your mom are gonna be in there and you're on your way there and you're pulling up you're like oh my god this parking lot is so crowded I'm never gonna get a spot no you're definitely not gonna get a spot <laughs> You're definitely going to be parking all the way at the back because that's what you believe that you're going to get, right? Instead, replace that thought and say, oh my gosh, I know Target is so crowded today, but I know I'm going to get a perfect spot right in the front. I know somebody's going to be pulling out right when I pull in, okay? And I'm talking every single negative thought that you have. Become conscious of it. Become conscious of what you're saying and replace it with something positive from really small things like parking spaces to really big things like manifesting your dream life, okay? Also, stop complaining. Stop complaining. Stop thinking that people are after you. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want, they don't want to see me win, okay? Stop thinking all of these negative things. Stop complaining about the life that you have, right? Start focusing on the things that you do have plain and simple I'm so grateful that 
I have a job that allows me enough money to be able to live in a decent apartment. Let's say you're not obsessed with it, just like a decent apartment and I have running water and I can take a nice hot shower when I get home and I can eat a good meal and I can watch my favorite show on TV before I go to sleep. Like all of those things. I'm grateful that I had $15 this week to be able to go to Trader Joe's and get myself some fresh flowers. Like literally stop complaining and start being grateful for the things that you do have. You have... We are so programmed to focus on negativity and to focus on lack and just to focus on every single thing that we don't have. Once you start focusing on things that you do have, you will get more of the things that you want. I am literally sitting here as living proof, okay? I have a whole video on my channel about my anxiety, my depression, and my thoughts, like all that stuff. I have all that on here. I've been through all of that. That's why I'm doing these videos because I'm literally sitting here telling you I have had the experience and I'm letting you know the experience that I'm having now, please, <laughs> please. This is my dream life. I'm living it. I'm living it. I'm literally here. Like, are there things that I still desire? Of course. Absolutely. I'm a Capricorn, baby. Like, I always want more. Okay. <laughs> but I have a really great life and I just have to remind myself, even though there are things that I desire beyond what I do have. I still have to be grateful for the things that I do have and for the things that I have actually manifested, the things that I have seen in my mind, right, that I have actually brought to fruition. Gratitude is everything when you're trying to level up and, you know, just upgrade your life in general. I feel like those are pretty much the main things that I wanted to talk about. If y'all have any questions, comments, or anything, girl, definitely leave it down below. If you guys have any ideas for videos that maybe you like have questions about something I talked about in this video, you want to hear me talk more about it, comment that down below as well. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely sure to hit that subscribe button, girl. Turn your post notifications on, give the video a thumbs up, join the fam, okay? And yeah, girl, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!